The Old Town Art Fair was a chance to catch up with friends, converse, enjoy the beautiful weather, and of course, check out the art. Welcome to the festival! Are you having a good time? I'm having such a good time. So what? You're here with your mom? Yeah. What brought you out today? Um, I just wanted to go and see the art, uh, walk around for a while. The first day fully opened in Chicago. So. I know. Isn't it fantastic? It's so amazing. It's kind of scary seeing everybody without masks at this point. I can see everybody's faces for the first time in a year know. and a half. So why did you decide to wear what you're wearing today? Um, to be honest, so I didn't have tan, a farmer's tan on my arms. <laughs> If I'm being brutally honest. Um, but I really just decided to wear this because I thought it was like summery, light, fun. It's so hot outside, so I figured a nice breeze. It's perfect. I think a dress like that is just perfect for a day like today. And I love the baseball cap. Thank you. It's actually my sister's. I was wearing a black one exactly like this this morning, and I went into her room and I was like, do you have something that would go with this outfit better? And she gave me the exact same hat in blue somehow. Oh my gosh, it matches perfectly. Everything looks great. Yes. <laughs> so have you bought any art today? Um, no, not yet. We've been looking at some stuff, but... Do you know who I'm wearing today? No, I'm not sure. I'm sorry. That's okay. Basquiat, have you heard? No, I haven't. The artist? Check him out. It's pretty good. Is there a booth somewhere? No, sadly he passed away. But, and he's very expensive. So he probably, according to the people that work here, they say he probably wouldn't even be here. But I thought I'd do my little homage to artwork by wearing this t-shirt from Urban Outfitters. So. <laughs> so, what's on your agenda for the rest of the day? Um, we were gonna stop at the food tent, get something to eat, and then explore the rest of the streets that we haven't gone down. We've covered like 75% so far. Oh my gosh, you've done good. Well, great. <laughs> Enjoy the rest of the day. You look great. Thank you so much. All right, take care. You Bye. too. Tell me about what you're wearing today. Just anything. Well, uh, one thing to know, I never wear long dresses. So this is my first time wearing a long dress, and I got it from Anthropology. I love Anthropology. So do I. And first time wearing a long dress? First time wearing, have you ever seen me wear a long dress? She I like, I she, have she's got great legs, legs. thinner so she, legs. So she shows but them But I thought, off, you know what, it's super artsy, and I felt this vibe of the colors. It's beautiful. Tan on. That's right, you got your tan on. It looked, the color looks Thank great, you. everything. Thank you. Is beautiful. Thank you so much. And with the weather, it's fantastic. It is, and I thought it would be a little warm, but I'm not, so. I love it. Thank you. It's good. And I love um, this is um, this is a, a different color for me, as you would know, like normally. But so with my good. with my blue eyes, I thought I could uh, pull it off. I think it looks great. No, and I love so, the uh, tie dye too. Yeah. So this I just found on a mannequin um, in downtown Naperville at uh, uh, Charisma. Oh, I love it. So cute. So you bought that so literally together, bought it right? bought it right off the mannequin. That's my goal. My other goal is don't coming go back. in and buy pieces. Go in and buy the outfits. Coming back from the farmers market, <laughs> That's we had to stop tip because to it was so hot. Yes. And I was and my, I was with my daughter, and she's like, "Let's stop." And I'm like, "Okay." And literally, I saw this. I'm like, "Well, oh, that would be good to wear in the city tomorrow." Love That's it. right. Yep. So you guys are from Naperville. We yes. are. Are you enjoying yourselves? Love oh, it. absolutely. Love it. Do you know artwork? Do you know who I'm wearing today? The artist? No, but I love it. Lori probably knows. Lori probably knows. Lori probably Vincent probably. Van Gogh. Why is it? Nope. A local artist? Yeah. No. Sadly, he passed away in '88. Oh. Very, very popular. From Chicago? Neo-Impressionism. Born in Brooklyn, New York. Warhol? Uh, Warhol was his Andy Warhol. Um, like mentor. Seagal? Nope. I'm getting close. No? Yeah, kind of. Hey, give us the is throwing me. Give us 88 the 88 is throwing me. Yeah, he passed away in 88 at a very young age. At a young age? Oh. Very young age. Mm. Was he already super famous or was he famous? Yes. Both. A lot of them are more famous. Yes, he still is very famous, but he was famous when he was alive. Uh oh. I don't know. But that's okay. Look at these guys are fashionable too. Fashionable girls. Fashionable girls, come on over. Tell us. Yes, all of them. Are all of you guys are friends? Who's the, who's the artist that she's wearing? Who's the artist that she's wearing? I know you know this. Um. Begins with a B as a boy. We're trying to figure out the artist. B A S. Who's way in '88? At a very young age, born in Brooklyn, New York. A boy that I said Andy Warhol. Oh, I thought of Andy Warhol initially too. Basquiat. 
Ah, Basquiat. No, no. Got to look them up. Walk by and think very creative and cool. Thank you. You guys look great. So tell me about your outfit. So this I bought at a store in Naperville called Glam and Glitz. It's just a very casual white dress. I wanted something. I'm kind of regretting I wore sleeves today. I should have worn sleeveless like these guys because I'm I'm sweating. No, but you don't show the sweat with the sleeves. Love being just cool and hiding the you know the pooch. I think it looks great. Our girlfriend owns a boutique, yes. so we need to take a picture and tag it. And tag it. When you wear in the outfit, tag it. Well, I'm like, yeah. well, tell me the name of the boutique again. It's called Glam and Glitz in Naperville. Glam and Glitz. Glam and Glitz in Naperville. Okay. Well, my website is Fine Threads Chicago. Oh, so Chicago. I'll put you guys on. Okay. And Glam and Glitz in Naperville will be on there too. Because okay. everything that in yours is from. Yes, Glam and Glitz yes. too. Oh my gosh. We all shot there. Yes. Glam and Glitz. We're talking about Glam and Glitz. But she says it with a British accent Glam and Glitz. <laughs> glam? I'm Glam and Glitz, Chicago accent kind of. Yeah, I'm English speaking, whatever I say is correct. <laughs> Okay? It's You're proper, just proper. wannabes. You're Her all just proper. wannabes. I love... I, if I, How long have you been here? Uh, 20 years. Oh, but this still. is my American accent, darling. <laughs> But if I could speak like her, I love how she says water, and she says darling, and yeah, she when says... When I go to the restaurant and go, can I have four glasses of water? They go, wait, what? I go, water, water! <laughs> then they understand and it. And they're like, what? It's coming. But it's just so tacky sound compared to what you guys no, say. No, it's not. I love the proper, yes. I do too. I love when they say, unfortunately. Unfortunately. <laughs> See, you're doing good too. Oh, yeah, Maybe you've been hanging a, around. She's a wannabe. I am a wannabe. I've traveled to London, England for like eight, I've been there like eight times. And when I go there, I talk like them. I said, then the weather is nasty, naughty weather today. But that sounds like more like a Courtney accent. That's pretty good though, actually. Of course. So what's your story? You're from Chicago? I'm from Chicago. I do fashion styling and Aww. personal styling, closet analysis, Aww, color analysis, that too. personal closet shopping, editing. closet editing. Fun. And I like just to get out and talk about fashion to people and style. what they're wearing yeah. and style and this is a good opportunity. Outward. Exactly. No, I think Sarah, you got to come over. Everybody, come over. She's a fashion girl. She oh my God! Look at the handbag too. I like to talk about fashion. Oh, oh. you look, look great. I she's she's like a rock star. I'm too sweet. A nothing outfit. She didn't even try this for this <laughs> one. She's not even trying. You yes. don't even need to try, right? <laughs> well, cheers to you. Cheers. I'll do the mic. What's your name? Nancy. Nancy. Fine Thread Chicago. Thank you. All right. All the best. Thank you so much. Enjoy the day. All right. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. My website is Fine Threads Chicago. I'm a fashion stylist. You are? Yes, I do. I don't have a shop because I do personal shopping, closet analysis, color analysis, teaching, training, and mentoring. FineThreads.com. FineThreadsChicago.com. Okay. And um, now, you know, I love going out and talking to the people about fashion. Yeah. And what is a better way to do that? It helps to educate my students do too, also. I, online through outschool.com. I also have dabble.co, you know, since the pandemic. Yeah. Outschools ages three to 18, and I mainly do teens. Dabble.co is anybody, it's adults. Yeah, you can take all kinds of classes. So that's where I do color, I do fashion styling, I do closet analysis, I love it. Because the schools have all shut down. I used to be at one of the schools here in Chicago, but yeah, so online. So this is something fun I did back in, oh my gosh, it was like... When did you teach in Chicago? Uh, 2003 through, yeah, I taught in the fashion design department. Oh, how wonderful. Yeah, I was the program chair of fashion at International Academy of Design and Technology. Which is no longer. Yeah, unfortunately. But yeah, the, it, everyone that loves fashion. Look, you two are very fashionable. I'm wearing shorts. With pockets, no purse. No shorts. No purse. I have such a mosquito bite here. Yeah. <laughs> but if anything touches it, it's there and here. <laughs> That's okay, it's hot, right? Yeah, I, I was out fixing my garden and I should have worn long sleeves. That's you know, okay. A lot of us, I'm sure you know this, are going through a transition because where we're working at home and we had all this casual clothes now some people are going back in the office but a lot of like my team is going to continue to work from home so we have all these suits we need to get rid of <laughs> so what do you do what's the area you're in 
So I'm a vice president of marketing and public affairs oh. for an, um, a firm on uh, the East Coast that lobbies on Capitol Hill. So Excellent. So yeah, so your suit attire, you're right. I don't need it anymore. Right. And have you been online since Zooming everything? Every day at work, but no. So I've been, I have been... You know what I find, and most of my team is doing this, we work out in the morning, yes. and we put on a different top to look presentable, but we still got our yoga pants on all day. That's what the guys on TV and late night shows, they're all dressed up with their nothing, shorts, pajamas. As long as you have the color up top and the fashionable up top. And just, um, you know, even if it's a nice colorful t-shirt, but, um, you know, no more corporate blouses and jackets and... I, I agree. I think fashion has changed. Even if you're going back into an office, it still is a little bit more relaxed and casual. Mm -hmm. I taught third grade, and the kids were really into what I wore every day. And they noticed if I had no shoes or anything like that, and it was nice. It was and no just... hose? That was a big game. No, no, the, no, I did it. The first dress, you could never, I mean, pants. And I bought a dress with pants. Oh, yes. And they matched. And um, it was a big deal. Right. Yeah. That's right. I see that in the Wicker Park area here. Yeah. Yeah. Very, you know, unique fashion. So they have so many cool personal boutiques there, and artists in the clothing. Yeah. I like that. Very much. In my third grade, I taught art every day in some subject. Oh. It wasn't only art. Art was twice a week. You know, real. Uh -huh. the whole session, and then I did it, it within social studies or math. How do you do art and math? Oh, I wish I someone see. had done that because I hate math. Oh, <laughs> so, oh. what? What is that? Is that math? Oh, yes! I know what you mean. I know what, what you that, mean. Bill? Oh, yes. Um, we I, we did numbers and then we we did the form around the numbers oh my gosh, in different I, colors. It's just something I'm thinking of. I haven't I'm talked since 2000, but we did it. I mean, we did it. I we spelled it. letters and and thing in uh, artists right and uh, numbers right. We just got it in there. I think creativity should be taught in the schools. Definitely, like art, dance. And how yeah. interact. And exactly. How interact. Everything interacts. You're absolutely right. right. All right. Well, it's so great talking to you, ladies. Yes. Uh, I love your screen. Do you know who this is? Basquiat. Oh my God! Really? <laughs> yes. Yes. Where did you get that? Urban Outfitters. Oh, so for the arts festival, I thought I'd wear them. Very cool. Awesome. Thank, Thank you. Very Thank cool. you so much. Nice talking right. to you, ladies. Take care. Thread, Chicago. Yes. Take it. Good for you. Thank you.